So you've gotten the samples, but you need to figure out the prices that production has given you. Mm -hmm. In many cases are dependent upon how many units you're gonna sell. Yes. So you need to almost project your sales sometimes even before your accounts have seen the line. Yes. So knowing what you're talking about of being able to just look at them and say, hey, these five pieces we're gonna have to take a risk on today because production needs to buy the fabrics. Yes. To hit the kind of pricing you need to hit. Exactly. So, so walk me through the process of how do you create that line sheet. Um, like you said, the, the samples are there, everything is in, should I say, like cell format or like with a picture format and you have all the prices where it says what the cost of it is. Yeah. Automatically, we calculate based on our profit margins and, and, the, and the, uh, the markup for the stores, uh, the final retail price. Then we what's, can- what's, uh, What would you say a traditional markup for the stores was? Uh, like it depends, like 2.5, it depends some of the designers that have three, okay. times three, so whatever, let's say like it cost me, it's, let's say it's some, sometimes uh, uh, a company costs them $100 to make something, basically the retail is gonna be 300. Okay. And it's not, that's not my profit, from 100 to 300, it's actually what Neiman Marcus it's, is. Yeah. Is, uh, is getting. Is there a margin? Does Requirement the, almost in many cases. Very much so, yep. very much so. Uh, and then what happens is then, once we have the retail price, we actually start, uh, by we, based on production uh, cost, our cost, we calculate the final retail prices, and then we compare the retail price to the actual item. And then we say like, wow, this is way too much. You are not gonna sell this sweater for 1500. And this is where you the You have to do both starts. bottom up and top down. Yes. You have to be, you have to start from the standpoint of like, what would I pay for this? Yes. What would my customer be willing to pay for it? Yes. And then you work yourself down to what will the required margin be to give to a retailer, and that's your wholesale. Yes. And then you worry about, did we make any money based upon the cost of production? I try to worry about <laughs> making the money at the very beginning stage, okay. because I can understand, and I think 10% of the collection yeah. needs to have some of those pieces yeah. that are trend setting, yeah. vision, uh, it could be uh, actually like super expensive. It doesn't matter because you wanna have those pieces still in the showroom to show your clients where your vision is and what you see and where you are going forward with. Like how, what percentage or how? 10. 10. 10 percentage of the collection. Okay. I always say 10% of the collection for the designers, go whatever you feel, whatever is in your heart. Yeah. Because you are actually showing them what oh, is here. It's very generous of you to give them 10%. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, uh, it costs a lot of money. Okay. I mean, they can do it all, but... Um, so 10% of the collection, like make it like, let it, let it come out of your heart, design whatever you want to design. But you, you have to understand also the 90% of the collection is what's going to sell. Yeah. That 10%, only 2% of the people but buy. But it's harder to sell that 90 if there isn't that aspiration that's created on top. Absolutely not. Yeah. So whatever that percentage is, and, and that's a decision for every creative to make on their own. The, in the beginning, I think that number is higher. But as the more mature you get, um, I think you're, you're right that that number needs to become slower and lower. Uh, and you need to have a, a collection that makes sense for your consumer as opposed to something that's pure fantasy. Sure. I'll give you an example, like, um, again, I'll refer to Giambattista Valli, like his runway shows. When you look at the runway show, like you see things like, oh my God, it's yeah. out there. Yeah. It's really a reflection of designer's mind put into the clothing, into yeah. the fabric, and the way it's sewn, the way it's put together, the color combination, the styling, you name it. But know that 90% of those things don't actually sell. What sells is, for example, like- But the imagery from that image. show, the but imagery the from that there. show drives yeah. the sales. Yes. So it's then, almost like a necessary tool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to because basically, that 10% is, again, like I keep on repeating myself, like it's a reflection of what you think is neat, what you think people should wear, right?